To now to know what's on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. And joining me in the studio is lawyer and social development advocate and public affairs analyst, Smart Akwejoye. Thank you very much. And of course, we have Barrister Jide Ologun in the studio with us. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good morning. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. And so, thank God it's Friday. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, look at the stories in the newspapers this morning. We'll start with the Daily Times. It says here, yeah, amid fears, military pledges to end to terrorism, banditry. Business Day says, investors in Ghana, Kenya, earn 10 times more from government securities than in Nigeria. As federal government records, two ninety-five billionaire unsuccessful T-bills bids, analysts see Nigerian investors relocating funds. The blueprint says, postponing 2019 elections was tough for me, as according to Yakubu Beck's National Assembly for Amended Electoral Acts by 2021, says bad governance precursor to voter apathy. First news here is saying, police fans clash at Maradona's wake in Argentina. Why Buhari may set Nigeria on fire, as according to Governor Wike. The pilot says, on the brink. A Feniferi raises alarm that Nigeria on the brink of collapse, says the country has virtually become ungovernable, insists, on rising, insists rising cases of violent crimes, indication of federal government's helplessness, opposes rail line, 30 billion naira highway to Niger Republic. The News Direct says the Global Terrorism Index, Nigeria ranks third in world's worst hit terrorism countries. The Guardian says smugglers reign large despite border closure. Over 200 illegal routes in Ogun State, borders are too porous, customs cries out. The Punch newspaper says Buhari regime's second recession. NLC Carpets Federal Government says cash sharing loan misuse uh, ground economy. We we'll move to the Nation newspaper. ASU divided over federal government's offer to end strike. That's in the Nation newspaper this morning. The leadership newspaper is saying here, more states embrace federal government's livestock transformation plan. So we'll move to uh, the national economy. 113 billion naira worth of cocoa beans trapped at Nigerian ports as CBN insists on complete documentation from exporters. The Daily Trust says, insecurity North, worst place to live in Nigeria, Sultan cries out, gunmen kidnapped four in Abuja, abductors of Zamfara Imam, 18 others demand 38 million naira ransom, Northeast governors seek a part to prosecute terror suspects, Nigeria becoming ungovernable, says Afeni Ferry. So we'll stick with two newspapers this morning. The news direct is saying Global Terrorism Index, Nigeria ranks third in world's worst hit terrorism countries. That's in the Nigerian News Direct. That's the first newspaper we will be looking at at this point. Gentlemen, what do you think about this ranking? Ah, well, to a large extent, that ranking could be correct. Could be? Yes. And quickly, I probably want to refer to uh, the Sultan. He said the Northeast is perhaps the worst place, place to live in. And also yesterday, in, in Nondo states, between um, Owo and Akure, I think Ifo or Ifo also, Ifo, yeah. Ifo also, the, the traditional work was killed. <coughs> so when you look at it, and when you look, when you also go to the uh, to the to the south south, it's not the story is not different. Mm. So when you look at, take all the geo, uh, political uh, zones, take them into consideration. Where is safe? So, you, so you, there is nowhere you could go to sleep and say yes, I'm safe. Mm. So the 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 the, um, the index might not be might, might, might not might not be wrong, but however, are we tackling it? We are not, because every time it is the military that is coming out to say we are tackling, we will ensure that we end it. The military cannot. You see, it is not the brief of the military; it is the brief of the police and the brief of the uh, of the SSS or DSS or what do we call them? I know them as SSS. Yeah. So that yeah. it is their brief. So, you see, we are always very reactionary. Every time, if there is, a, we want to rush to the scene, to the scene of the, uh, to the scene of the crime. It is wrong. You see, you nip it at the board before it, before they even come out. You've gone to arrest them. 
Not when they, they because in, and when you do that, you probably don't get to arrest all of them. You probably kill some. We probably uh, catch some, and some others we will, some. some others will escape. Mm -hmm. Those that escape, they will regroup, <laughs> and they will come back. So we are not, as far as I'm concerned, we are not tackling security problem. You don't have to be a security expert to know that the simple way to tackle security problem is community policing, is intelligent gathering. When you gather, look, take 100 houses, for example, and tell the, and tell the LCDs, look, give us those people you suspect in the, within your within the hundred houses we, um, uh, in, in your environment, the LCDA executive should be able to. It is make it their responsibility. All right. If you involve the people, they will, will get to the root of security. We're not tackling security at all, and that is why everywhere is so is, is so in, um, is so unsafe. You cannot drive out. Before, before now, it is a pleasure when you drive out from the from house at about twelve midnight. Say you are going to the club. Who dares go to the club again at this time? <laughs> All right, Barrister. Yeah, you bring the club home virtually. <laughs> <laughs> that was on a lighter mood. I connect with that position, and I want us to look at it in a holistic manner. Whether it's the military or the DSS or the police, there is a constitutional mandate to provide an enabling environment. And so, And when you look at terrorism, if you try to define it, it is the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, mm -hmm. especially against the civilian, for a political reason. It may be for religious reasons. And if we have sustained it in Nigeria, we should be asking questions that are some special persons interested in this. It started as Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. It's now the Islamic State of West Africa. ISIS also linking up. And our country has now joined the League of the Terrorized. In fact, when this report filtered in about two months ago, it was contested, mm. like fake news. Mm. But we have this reality. And even from the comments of the Sultan of Sokoto, well respected, he was even saying that recently in Sokoto, about 76 persons were killed. And it was not even reported in the media, but he went to the governor to condole with the governor. And we are now reading that the North may go up in flames. But the Emir of Kano shouted, he's been deposed. And I was doing my research, and I realized that General Burotai, the chief of army staff, let's even assume now that the military has come in to rescue the overwhelmed police system. Is from Buratai in Borono State. Recently, about seven soldiers attached to the governor were killed. Mm. Recently, about 18 security details attached to the governor, they were killed like that. <clears throat> and now the Sultan is letting us know that bandits operate openly, brandishing their AK-47. How did this weapon get into Nigeria? Some of us were asking. We were reading some years ago. Uh, three containers of ammunition smuggled into Nigeria, seized by the custom. The same custom is telling us now our borders are put on. So it's a systemic failure. Mm. Section 14, subsection 2 of the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended says that the security and the welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. And can we lay claim to fulfilling this mandate? And I am super disturbed that my president, whom I admire so much, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, is a retired general, a former military head of state. So there are issues here. And let's now come to the political angle of it. Recently, my Lafia came up with an information that he, he understood that um, uh, some high-profile personalities may be sponsoring Boko Haram. You saw how the same DSS handled the man. In fact, the man had to start begging maybe for prayers uh, to, you know, he's so worried. For his life. But in the UAE, that is free of terrorism, about six sponsors of Boko Haram were, were jailed, prosecuted, and jailed. I think they are you see, still the American prosecution. government came to Nigeria to rescue their citizens the citizen, that yeah. was kidnapped in a foreign country and brought to Nigeria. The Chadian president led a troop to chase to the them. Boko Haram away from Chad into Nigeria. And now we are ranking with Iraq, with Afghanistan, 
with Yemen. No wonder we are in poverty. What? If you look at the Asian region, the, 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 the terroristic reg, uh, nations there are the poorest. What does so, it say? For me, uh, Mike Murdoch said, you don't complain about what you condone. Do we have a culture for embracing violence? And let me give this warning to the Southern leaders. What I have observed, and I stand to be corrected, is that people are being chased away from the northern part of the country. Yeah. They are Into now infiltrating parts. the southern part of the country. If yeah. I am saying heresy, drive to Ikeja GRA, that used to be an exclusive region. You see beggars, you see strangers, drive between a, a, a local airport and Maryland on the road. You see people selling on the road. Is this our Lagos? And we are now, you, you can see the level of insecurity, ammunition, band, you know, killings, banditry, kidnappings. And we, we really need to, De to get serious about it. Despite the millions of um, naira or dollars that have been put into security, how did we get to this point of ranking third in the world when we hear every time that we have decimated the terrorists, we, have, um, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are on their trail and all of that? How did we get to this point? You see, at every point, I will sympathize with the army because in the first place, you are bringing them to an unfamiliar terrain. Okay. What we are grappling with in Nigeria today is internal security. Internal security is not the job of the Nigerian army. Let's take that aside. Perhaps because we have shortfall in the Nigerian police and, and SSS or DSS, they are probably have to draft them in. Mm. But honestly, it's, it's not the but job. But this is fighting but, against but the, the terrorist organization. You see, how did they become? It's, they are not international. Yes, they could have international support, but these, these are not international. These are not foreigners invading Nigeria. These are Nigerians. So you expect the military to so just what sit I, down? So what I expect, no, you see, that's why I've said they have drafted them in. But however, if we refuse, Jide just said something. When you look at all over, when you go to the whole of Ikorudu stretch, I tell you 65% of those that write Okada, they are not, they are, they are, they are, I can no, tell you they are no, not no, Nigerians. No, 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 no. Not even, let's even take Legosian because they are, let's even take Nigerian, of course, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a community and you have the right to live anywhere. Most of these people, they are not Nigerians. I can tell you. So if you have these people that are not Nigerians living in Nigeria, how do you, if they commit crime, how do you know? How do you even know their intention, that their intention perhaps is not, is not gathering, is not um, gathering of uh, intelligence so that, so that they can, so that they can. So increase. how does community so, policing so work? Where, community, community policing work? will work now, like I've said. <laughs> To a large extent, I know those that live in my community. Mm -hmm. And if I know this guy is of a shady character, of course, we will fish him out because there is community policing. Of course, the community, the community, poli the community uh, police will just look, it, maybe at the CDAs or whatever, will just say, like, let us go and, let us go and uh, scoop some of this um, uncompleted building. Mm -hmm. Let us go and see the, let us go and see that. Before they even attack already, let me tell you, Nobody will come from outside to attack you if there is no collaboration of somebody within your locality. Because somebody must know the terrain. You cannot escape. Because if private commit, if, 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 there is a, if there is a blockage of the major road, you, it will take somebody that lives in the community to take you through the other parts. So that is why it is difficult to commit crime if it does not have a local content. Okay, so let's move to the Guardian newspaper this morning. It says here, Smugglers reign large despite border closure. Over 200 illegal routes in Ogun State. Borders are too porous. Customs cry out. Barrister, we earlier talked about uh, border closure and the reopening of the borders. But even though, despite the fact that the borders were closed, the illegal routes, the porous borders all around uh, Nigeria was opened. And so it was a free for all. You see, this brings in my knowledge of project management. You have to follow your project through. We decided to shut the borders. Are we now saying we didn't have the MDAs to facilitate the effectiveness? You know, Peter Drucker said, uh, he, he spoke about management by objective. What objective did we have? We stated some then. And you set smart goals, goals that are specific. So specifically, things should have been put in place to ensure that the borders were not porous. And you talk about, you know, goals that are measurable. Mm. And over a year down the line, we are reopening now in a worse economic situation. So that means the intention has been de mm. defeated. And of course, you, 
you, you, you set goals that are attainable, that are realistic, that are, you know, time-bound. Hmm. And here we are today, after closing the borders. It was even reported, we are talking about, we can identify some porous borders in the south, that in the north, it was like the borders were not closed. And what is likely to have happened <clears throat> is that those who aid the smugglers would have made so much money <clears throat> while the government is losing revenue. So can we look at this country and begin to block the loopholes of revenue and ensure that our policies are effective? Because policies that are implemented without results are as bad as policies that were never implemented. And this country needs you know, a, a serious governance approach. It may sound as if we are criticizing, but you see, you can look at the results. You can look at the results. Right now, look at the pump price of petroleum. Mm -hmm. And yes, some will be smuggling these products out of the country, particularly when our president himself justified the need for that increase by saying fuel is selling for higher rate in a country. Now we want to be buying fuel from the Nigerian Republic. You see, now we are telling Nigerians why we need to shut down the refineries of Nigeria. So what are we talking about? You see, so is it that we are deliberately depressing the economy of the nation? And when you don't have a vibrant economy, your sociocultural life is endangered because the economy is the sustaining power. And I like going back to the, uh, to the Constitution. Great Nigerians, can you please do me a favor? Out of your data... Just read from section 14 to section 17 of the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended and ask yourself a simple question. Mm. We are we as a nation. What this nation deserves is prosperity. We show the borders how have the, the farmers fed. You know, we just listen to some narratives yeah. now. You see, apart from the headsmen killing, even though the index that we spoke about is claiming that the headsmen killing has reduced, uh, Boko Haram has increased by 25%. What's the difference between headsmen killing and Boko, Boko Haram, Haram killings? You see, we are diversifying and at the same time strangulating the diversification. Mm -hmm. So I just want to advise at this point that state governors, stakeholders, members of the National Assembly should rise up to engage the governance system of this country. All right. Poverty is a threat to all of us, and prosperity is a gain to all of us. And this country has more than enough resources to be the third most prosperous country. Don't let me say the first. If not, you see? the first. Exactly. So why are we here? What exactly is going on? All right, smart. Now, the, 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 there are insinuations that the borders will be reopened very soon, but have there been any gains? Well, closed. that the borders will be officially opened because mm -hmm. the borders have never been closed. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> look, when you go to, probably from mm -hmm. going through Ota, you go through Golo, that is, there is one old hotel there. They call it Hotel Frontier. At the back of Hotel Frontier, you need to see the number of boys that are sitting there. These are supposed to be immigration officers or those are the local immigration officers. Mm -hmm. The number of goods that are coming from that place, the number of goods, just, you see, sometime again, your studio did an undercover, whatever, yeah. to the north. Mm -hmm. You see how guys carrying Carry rice on bags. On bikes. How are we sure that even the content of that, what we see is seven rice, and that they're not ammunition? We have seen where a situation whereby the customs open bags of rice, and they are bringing out bullets, mm -hmm. they are bringing out ammunition. Mm -hmm. How are we sure? So, Sometimes the ammunition, sometimes I believe that the ammunition that are in illegal hands is even more than the ammunition that are in the entire hands of the security uh, agencies. How do we solve this? Honestly, we can use technology. A drone will cover the old axis of that Ogun state, of that 240 whatever illegal uh, borders. If not more than a drone will cover it within 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 within, well, 30, within twenty that, minutes. That, that's a drone. What about the human being? No, that that, will, no, no. Let's that, that even say that. The if the drone covers it, you can view it from the screen from anywhere. And again, you have a standby force. Say, so, okay, these people they have moved. You go and intercept them. You go and intercept them. And by the time they see, you see, one thing with crime is that the moment that you commit a crime and you know that you will be intercepted or you will be arrested, you probably don't want to commit that crime. Mm -hmm. Because the essence you want to commit crime is because you want to commit the crime and enjoy whatever you must have, whatever you must have made from it. So we have a wrong approach. And again, sometimes, you see, the National Assembly members too, 
They are part of this problem. Do you know why? They are not, they are not engaging the government in, 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 enough. We all cannot go there and start engaging the government. You are there. Look, engage the government. Engage the government. All right. All right. Because if you don't engage the government, the government probably, there is so much disparity. The, uh, the SSS will say something. Chief of Army staff will say something. Nigerian police will say something. No clear Civil courts. defense. No clear court. Um, all right. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for talking to us on these issues. Of course, we were talking about the Global Terrorism Index at Nigeria ranks third in world's worst hit terrorism countries. That was in the Nigerian News Direct, and The Guardian was saying, uh, it says, yes, smugglers reign large despite border closure. Thank you very much for talking to us at this point on these issues.